Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Simpsons Hit and Run. Yes. We're doing something a little bit different today. We decided to play this. We're playing it on the Xbox, as you may have just seen when it said accessing Xbox hard drive. Did you ever play this back in the day, Aaron? No, I didn't. It was one of those games where, for me, I'd seen it at, like, yes, this is going to show how old we are, at, like, Blockbuster and that, like, on the video game shelf, and I was always like, oh, I wonder if I should rent it out and play it. <laughs> uh, but, no, I never actually ended up doing it. Um, but, I like, I've heard good things, like, not just from you. Like, I've heard you mention um, enjoying it, but I've, at the time, I had friends that played it and enjoyed it as well. Uh, but... Yeah, I was just so much more into, like, the... Like, that was when I was really starting to get into, like, RPGs and stuff. So I was really focused on those sort of games back then. No, that's uh, fair enough. Yeah. The way I see it is Simpsons Hit and Run was the game you got when you couldn't convince your parents to get your Grand Theft Auto. And they, were, they were like, nah, nah, I've seen that on the telly. That's bad, that one. So, you know, you, you can't... um. You can't get them to get you that, so you get Simpsons Hit and Run. It's basically Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> except in a lot of ways. But, um, you know with the Simpsons charm and none of the violence. But uh, it is actually a really enjoyable game. I uh, was thinking to myself when I when I saw the title and I'm like, hey, did you enjoy running people over at Grand Theft Auto? Well, how about something a little bit quirkier? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm endorsing a new cola, kids. And this one isn't poisonous to anybody. That we <laughs> new and improved Buzz Cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient too hot for the FDA. What? It'll give you the get up and go. You need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. Try new improved Buzz Cola. Mmm. Cola. Must get Buzz Cola. So I think the other thing about Simpsons Hit and Run is it is the best Simpsons game. One of, like, one of the best Simpsons games. There are some um, 2D ones back in the SNES and stuff like that that people really like. But it is probably the best Simpsons game. And it's also really faithful. All right, player one. Uh, Ooh. Homer. I mean, Homer. Use the left thumbstick to move around. This is called walking. Press the A button to jump and hold down right. the B button. You know what? I'm going to disable the tutorials. I don't know if I need them. So there we go. I, I'm, I'm we'll also someone who, who just <laughs> likes to just, just do this, you know, just press all the buttons, see what's going on. All right, so we want to talk to Marge. Dessert in the house. Wonder who that was. Run to the store and pick up some of that ice cream with the miniature pies in it. Oh, it must have been one of our kids, probably Millhouse. It's like Marge, you know who exactly yeah. had all the desserts in the house, and why are you going to send him to get more of them? Like <laughs> you're going to get like half of them back. Yeah. The cola keeper. Go to the quickie mart and purchase some ice cream and cola. All right. Now, just quickly before we go, what what are they, what's it called? A spider, like an uh, that's the that's the drink. We got like the yeah, the, I don't the know fizzy like um, carbonated uh, drink with ice cream on top or something. Yeah, I don't know if uh, it's called. Uh, I think it might be called an ice cream float in America and other places. That's what I was thinking. I think maybe in America it's called ice cream float, but I know that yeah, in in some parts of Australia that I've had it, like it's called a spider for some reason. It's called a spider. No, it is. It definitely is. Yeah. All right. But that's a. That's uh, just what I thought of when uh, <laughs> they're like, get some ice cream and some cola. It's like, yep, that's it. All right. <laughs> You're going to make a spider and ice cream float. Yeah. So, yeah, basically this is like a is a mission-based game, but it is like a rather large open world. It's a good representation of Springfield. And, yeah, you get to play as not just Homer, you get to play as a bunch of different characters, but a lot of them re result in just, oh, God, little little tasks you got to do or races you have to win. I think that the thing that I find funny just from watching you drive just to the Quickie Mart is that this is, if anything, even more dangerous than Grand Theft Auto in that there are children walking around. Yeah, there's, there's kids in this. Hey, Apu, give me a cola and I need another bucket of ice cream with mini pies. What happened to the ice cream with mini pies your wife bought this morning? Well, I probably ate it. I don't remember stuff too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least he's honest. Complete. Go back home and talk to your mom to start the next mission. Yes, yes. But, um, you know, just like a quick look around the Quickie Mart at first, you know, it's a good example. Like, so you've got you got Jimbo and Kearney here stealing, which is like such a, you know, obviously very relatable to the show. You've got Frost Delicious, I think they called him, when um Jasper got himself stuck in the freezer. So that's a throwback to an episode. Ooh, what's this, actually? 
Is this just like a, oh, okay. So Homer casual is just uh, in some tidy whities. Oh, you can get Moo Moo Homer. I want to get Moo Moo Homer. Oh, the chosen one. See, that's the other thing as well. So not only is it like a pretty fun little game, but if you are into The Simpsons, this is such a glorious like reference field game. It's um, especially, you know, a lot of it is to do with the golden years. Yeah. Um, the, the golden years of The Simpsons, you know, which to a lot of people is uh, season sort of uh, three to eight. Yeah. It, it's it's pretty much the years that make up 95% of the memes of the Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, there are a surprising amount of memes that come from later seasons, admittedly, like after 10. But, I mean, for most people who were watching it, especially when it came out in the 90s, you know, aging myself a bit here, <laughs> um, the they were definitely the, the golden years, the glory years. But that's the beauty. There is so many references in this game. I just like seeing the Homer Moo Moo, it just reminded me that um, yep. I saw a post that was saying like, oh, remember the episode of The Simpsons where Homer was like 200 pounds or something and we all thought that was like so obese <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do anything. so obese. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, like, we've got like TV shows now, people like 500 pounds. 500. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's like, what? <laughs> I want to um, I want to just point something out here for people to give myself a little bit of an excuse. Um, my Xbox controller, I have two controllers. I have a crappy third party one and I have a good somewhat original one and i like to use the original one because it has better joysticks and it has a much better feel uh but the problem is is that the uh left at the left shoulder button gets a bit stuck so if i fail at breaking uh give me a give me a little bit of slack there i actually can't help it to a degree sometimes yeah yeah sure if i fail at breaking and just happen to hit those children with the car you know that's 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 the controller it's not oh, no, that, that's all that's do. all me but <laughs> <laughs> if i'm trying to win a race and i just don't break when i should I mean, it will be a nice, handy excuse for me, but yeah, there is a there is a little bit of that going on. Oh God, he's just spitting some fire. But um, I mean, like, you know, it really depends on the person. Um, I, basically, when I was growing up, everyone did, but you know, not. I also know some people who didn't watch The Simpsons. Did you watch it a lot when you were younger, like when it was airing in the nineties? Yeah, when I was a kid, definitely. Um, uh, oh, not really the nineties. Probably the later nineties than then early two thousands. Um. Uh, because I think like, like I had younger, younger siblings. I'm the oldest, and my younger siblings. So I, I think it was the case of um, my my mum and dad didn't really want them watching it as much. Um, oh, it's, it's so uh, harmless and, and stuff. I know it, it is. It is harmless, but it wasn't armor. in the nineties. It, it, yeah, and and to be fair, it was also on a bit later. And so while I was allowed to stay up, yeah, uh, true. Might have been allowed yeah. to stay up. My you know my siblings weren't, and so the idea of like. Like it's unfair that I get to stay up and as much. So it wasn't until a little bit later, but uh, I I still remember because obviously repeats as well, you know. So even though I probably <laughs> watched a lot of the episodes, a lot of the classic episodes a year or two later, um, yeah, uh, yep. I still watch saw them and stuff. And so yeah, it was probably more the early two thousands, you know. Yeah, going fair through enough. the noughties and that that uh, I really watched it, but I did see the original stuff and that. Um, eventually, because yeah, we we had like pay TV or whatever you might call it. Homie, Lisa left for school without her science project. Can you get it to her? Oh, do I have to? You can drop it off on the way to work. And I have to go to work. All right, so we're gonna get SMRT. See another throwback. So that's perfect. <laughs> I am smart. <laughs> SMRT. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give Lisa her science project, and we've got to beat Principal Skinner. All right. Here we go. I oh, see. That's an example of my left stick not working fully. Are we going this way? All right. But no, like, um, yeah, The Simpsons new episodes, I think, aired at about seven o'clock. I was kind of lucky that my parents actually did let me watch it because I've loved it since I was like oh, three years old. You know what I mean? I didn't get 99% of the humor for many more years after that, but I still just enjoyed it for Silly Homer and Funny Cartoon. Mm. But um, no, the thing is, is I've, I've met some people and um, they they didn't watch it at all. Yeah, no, I, I knew some people that watched a few episodes, but then very quickly didn't watch, didn't continue watching it. Um, and then I had friends that like they had only started watching it once they got to high school because they could 
essentially watched what they wanted. Yeah. Um, uh, then and then they started getting into it. So it was a combination of either that maybe their parents being too strict on what they could watch, or they just weren't in an environment to watch it, and then just never really got around to it until they started talking with friends, constantly mentioning it. <laughs> oh, look, you get to come into the school and everything. Oh, there's old Ralph. Wait, where's Lisa? Oops, just pulled the fire alarm. Didn't realize. Oh, there she is. I get hungry and it was a fig. It was modeling clay. <laughs> oh. By the way, Dad, Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Oh. Lisa looks kind of scary in 3D, I'm going to be honest. Like the hair, <laughs> the hair. Look at those lifeless eyes just staring at you. <laughs> just Please vacant expression. Right I find it funny because, like, in the TV show, they don't. They don't have eyebrows and stuff. Like the, their eyes, you know, articulate and stuff, but they don't really have eyebrows. But when mm. you've got like, them in toys or you've got them like 3D, it really looks weird. It does. Yeah, that's it. They obviously, their style is very much a product of being a, you know, a 2D cartoon. Yeah. Um, but just to finish off the point we were talking about before, I think another thing as well is, because I had friends who basically did not watch it in their youth and just heard about it later. Um, and one of the things is, is that Australia had a really weird thing with um, like broadcasting rights. There was actually laws for a very long time that one company could not broadcast to all states and territories in the country. You were only allowed to go to like 70 odd yeah. percent. So you ended up with these weird channels in certain states that um, were just an amalgamation of like the two major ones, which was, um, was it, um, nine at the time, I think, win now and um, 10, which is like basically a Fox, like Rupert Murdoch. Uh, Channel one. Seven has been around for a while. Yeah, and Seven, but I think Seven and Ten were under this uh, anyway. But you know, so they couldn't go. They could, yeah, they could have been the same uh, company, just different names. And, yeah. yeah, well, they all have the parrot company of um one of Murdoch's things. But anyway, so for a lot of them, The Simpsons didn't actually even play regularly in some states because they weren't allowed to continue. You know, one person owned the rights, which I think was Ten. And they couldn't broadcast to the whole country because of the law. So some people I knew that didn't watch it, they were in the States that literally could not get it, basically, unless you had pay television. Homer, go talk to Ned Flanders. He seems miffed and PO'd. Why me? I'm the world's greatest neighbor. I even have a mug to that effect. It was true. Like, Tasmania was actually one of the places that struggled getting it. Yeah, they got shafted on everything. And I grew. I spent some of my years uh, as a kid in Tassie. Um, but I spent some of my years on the mainland in Queensland and um, New South Wales and, and Darwin. And they had 10. They had Channel 10 and, and Channel 10 was like the main one that had it. And so yeah, you'd watch that yeah. and then I'd come back to Tasmania and that's where we'd have to have like pay TV to make sure we w we got it all the time. I'm all in a dither, Homer. So many of my possessions have disappeared. I called the police to find the culprit. Culprit, eh? My lawnmower, my cooler, my lawn chair, a family portrait. Even Rod's inhaler. What kind of sick individual would take this stuff? Oh, no. I borrowed all of Flanders' stuff. Quick, think of an excuse to get out of here. Uh, excuse me. I think I have to go chuck some corn. Chuck some corn. Petty theft home. I collect all six of Ned's lost items before time runs out. So what if I just dump them around the uh, neighborhood, most likely being Homer? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't yeah. think we're ever going to make it at work, I'm just saying. No, I mean, it becomes sort of like a, <laughs> a full-on joke in the show that he, like, basically doesn't have a job, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there'll be some episodes where he's like, oh, I've got to go do this, and they're like, do you even work at the power plant anymore, yeah. you know? Or, <laughs> yeah. Or the one where he comes in and he says something to, like, Lenny and Carl and then runs off, and they're like, so does he work here anymore? <laughs> like, no one knows. Oh, wait, what am I? Oh, no. Well, I mean, technically his job is, like, if something goes wrong, he has to fix it, and... With a power plant, like nuclear power plant, you kind of want nothing to go wrong, so... Yeah, but he's also the safety <laughs> inspector. He's meant to keep an eye on things. Yeah, you just... Once once a week. You just go on once a week, tick boxes, you're done. Oh, no, I missed the thing. I'm totally not going to make it. Oh, wait. Do I have to talk to Barney? That seems a bit weird. Did we lend something to Barney that we borrowed from him there? <laughs> like, Must have done. Well, Homer seems like the type that would do that. Yeah. Uh, you remember that cooler I gave you for yep. your birthday? Well, Flanders wants it back. Now what will I use for a toilet? Oh, God. Oh, that just is. Oh, that, is, that, that being said, that is one of the things I have to say that I really 
was impressed with and enjoyed in Simpsons is they actually changed Barney. They made yes. him clean himself up. Yes. And they made him a, a more of a res- respectable, no- more character and stuff. And I love how that, that, that they did that with some characters and they actually progressed them. Because obviously with a show where the main characters, like, and everyone really, doesn't age. And they, no. they, they note, note that from time to time. But they... Uh, they don't age. It's like it's it's like nice to see them actually progress characters in other ways. Yeah. So he did. He did. Um. Whoa! Find Rod's inhaler. Yeah. He did get air. cleaned up. He did get cleaned up. They focused on that, and then he became addicted to coffee, and uh, was most yeah. selling that as well. However, um, on the same token, oh, actually, I can use a handbrake. That's helping. Oh. On the same token, Press though. He actually becomes a product of what's needed for a joke. Um, he's sober when they want him sober, and he's he's a drunkard when they need him drunk. Okay, I think I've parked too close. So he he does relapse a lot, actually. <laughs> there we go. We got it. So yeah. So they while they do clean him up, he he still relapses a ton, and he'll be he'll hmm. still be the town drunk when needed. And then uh, other times when needed, he'll be all clean, fresh, and sober. I think there's actually a um, a moment that's in the show that Lisa actually points this out. Like, didn't you re- <laughs> didn't you clear yourself up, Barney, or something? And he actually makes some sort of comment like that. Yeah, he <laughs> said, "I've relapsed seven times" or yeah. something like that. <laughs> there you go, Flanders. Have your stupid stuff like your child's medicine. Why did Homer even <laughs> have his inhaler? Why, yeah, how did- <laughs> I don't know. I found your missing stuff. Now, about the reward. <laughs> Thanks, neighbor Rooney. Here's your reward. A prayer from the Lord's number one fan. Our Father in Heaven. Bless- I thought Pride was, I thought pride or, or something was like a sin. So, like, how... He keeps going, I'm the Lord's number one fan. It's like, I feel like that's, true. that's not really up to you, mate. I think that's not that's really true. very humble. That is, that is, yeah, that might be a... And that's a cardinal sin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah like, um, pride becomes... For the fold, like yeah, pride is like one of the, the top ones uh, of like the sins that you don't want. Yeah, pride and so, greed and gluttony and that. Yeah. But the excuse is usually that oh, all humans suffer from these. It's how you repent and make up, you know. <laughs> yeah. Homie, you're late for work, and today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. Ah, you'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me, Lenny. I mean, I've got, I've got to give him some credit though. If he's got a scorpion farm and they're actually living, and he's managing to keep them alive, <laughs> you know, it's some 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 strange skills Homer has, but by God, he has them. I mean, on a similar, you know, similar thing to saying like how Barney is um, a drunk when they need him, Homer is also basically a genius when they want him yeah. to be. You know what I mean? He he is very capable, and he picks up a lot of things. Like he becomes like an exceptional painter, yeah. musician, you know, all sorts Astronaut. of things. Astronaut, yeah, no, yeah. I, I, that that is that episode where they have um, what, uh, Grimey or Grimes or something, whatever the guy Frank is Grimes. Name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And come in and like sees all the stuff he has of of him having yeah. done on the on the on the wall. Hey Homer, how about a breakfast churro? No time. Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More breakfast churros for Lenny. I'm going to need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm going to take him out. I wonder if Barney still has the Plow King. It's exactly like, um, oh, please, Mr. You will need the Plow King. Purchase it from Barney at the gasoline station for 150 coins. Oh, damn, I'll save it up for the Moo Moo. I don't know how many coins I got, but there's a few here. Um, but, you know, it's a... Uh, it's like during that episode with Frank Grimes where he's showing him around the house, you know what I mean? And obviously he knows Homer is this bumbling buffoon. And then he goes in there while he's like in between going to his second job and sees that Homer has like, you know, this nice two-story house, a couple of kids, you know, Bart owns a factory. <laughs> um, they're eating lobster and he's showing him his pictures and he's like, you know, with the ex-president and he's like, yeah, and here's me in space. And he's like, you, you've been in space. He's like, you've never been? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he doesn't even understand mm. all of the good things that he sort of falls into, basically. But um, that's the other good thing about that episode. Well, myself and so many people love it. It's it's so true. If you were to see Homer, if you were someone struggling and trying hard and working your ass off and you're seeing this prick fall upwards in life, you know what I mean? It would be so, so frustrating. Yeah. All right, let's get that. Which is what's so funny about him, you know, because that's like 
everyone sort of forgives Homer and like, you know, it's like how Lenny and Carl are in it. Destroy Smithers' car before he gets the power. Oh, okay, so this is where we got to ram him. That's right. Um, you know, and then he, you know, Frank Grimes is complaining to Lenny and Carl and they're like, oh, you know, what's your problem with Homer? He's a good guy, you know, because people let it go because they like Homer. He's, yeah. he's affable. And um, they're obviously, you know, that obviously suits in the world of the cartoon. But if you were like a reasonably minded person who met Homer, you would think he is one of the worst human beings you've ever come across. You know what I mean? Which is what he says. It's like when he's yeah. like, yo, if you lived in Russia, you'd be dead by now. And Bart's like, oh, he's got you there, dad. <laughs> like, you know, because he couldn't just fail upwards, you know? And that's it. He's a bumbling idiot, but he just happened to just fall into things, make friends with people, and he just, just makes his way through life. All right, here we go. God, Smithers drives like a maniac. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Left trigger work for me, please. Oh, I've really got to jam that in. My finger's going to hurt by the end of this. So this seems like a very drastic approach to literally try and nearly murder Smithers. Yeah, but at the end of the, but at the end of the day, like um, I'm pretty sure many people have tried to murder Smithers and he hasn't died. So <laughs> it's fine. Oh, there we go. Come on, you, you're done, mate. You're done. Oh, how's he still moving? It looks like I've done the full damage. Oh my god! I just incinerated Smithers. I love that. That's what you expect. <laughs> That's what you get when you expect me to do the job you pay me for. <laughs> yeah. Ah, but uh, this is such a great game. Um, I didn't get to play it much um, when it actually came out. Um, I I'm pretty sure I had. I knew someone with it, or actually, I think my brother had it, and I played it a little bit. But oh, that was about it. But I never actually got to fully play it, or maybe we rented it. But it is actually good fun, especially if you're a fan. And I'm a massive fan of The Simpsons, especially the uh, first, first few seasons. Well, there's old Cletus. Oh. What I find interesting about this, though, it's like, yeah, time to get to work. It's like you actually have to drive there. So it's like when they made this game, it's like, OK, so what does the street actually look like when he drives to work? Like, yeah, <laughs> how does he actually get there? Like, yeah, exactly. Because that's another thing about The Simpsons. Um, Everything is placed in a way that is convenient or just for a laugh. It's like most tavern is literally two doors down from Homer a couple of times. Yeah. And then other times it's across the it's um, across yeah, it's town. It's completely across the street, yeah. Yeah, the school can be seen across a field, you know, like the house that George Bush Sr. moves into is apparently across the road from The Simpsons. But in other episodes, that's just a field, you know, that leads to something else and stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, i got to go through the plant. So, yeah, a lot of it's like... Um, convenient, basically. What, what's yeah. convenient? Well, let's face it. They they, they 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 really go ahead and just go. Yep, it's um, uh, it's a cartoon, and we're going to make the most of it being a cartoon. <laughs> Things can just change. It's like, yep, go for it. Hey, well, I mean, they make two jokes about that fact. I think I've missed something. There's a marker back here. There's two jokes about that that I can think of in The Simpsons. One is when Homer's voicing Poochie, and. Yep. That guy at the um, like the meet with him and the other voice act with the other voice actor, and they're com oh my god, oh I just don't have the power. Oh, here we go, and they're complaining about you know two different sounds coming from Itchy's thing and all this sort of stuff, and then Homer makes fun of him. You know, it's basically teasing people that are a bit overly critical of a children's cartoon. Yeah, actually, I have well, no idea what's going on here. I thought I missed something, but I can't actually, see it. You may have already heard this, but that actually reminds oh, me of oh a story. That was interesting. That was. Um, that actually reminds me of um, a story that the the producers and that um, and the writers actually um, uh, told, uh, and I watched it on YouTube. And that I can't remember what it was. So if you guys are watching and like, oh, where where do we find this on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it had two of the writers. Now talking about um, that actual episode and that about Homer being part of the TV show, voicing Pooch in that, and. They go to, and obviously the guys that make Itchy and Scratchy, and, and uh, Bart and Lisa go to the place that um, uh, films Itchy and Scratchy, because Homer's there, and, and they go, let's give you a tour. And so they go around. Yeah, yeah. And they get to they get to the writer's room. 
And so this is the writer's room where we, you know, we uh, go ahead and uh, uh, come up with all the ideas. And they've got a cat there, and they and they go ahead and they put a, um, a, a, di a stick of, like, what seems to be dynamite or a cracker into the cat's mouth and light it. <laughs> and, the, and and then they close the door and uh, Lisa's like they're not really going to have that cat are they say like, of course not they're professionals or something or something like that and then you just hear this boom and the door falls down <laughs> was and, that a deleted scene um uh, well no it's just the I thing don't that, recall I, I, that. I, I can't remember if it was a deleted scene or, or not but the, the, the point um uh, that they made was that the the like fox or whatever was like oh you can't do that you know that's cruelty to animals like you can't um uh, go ahead and um uh, have that cat be exploded or something and they're like but we do that all the time with itchy and scratchy they're like yeah but that's a cartoon yeah yeah <laughs> they just they were like what yeah i reckon they didn't get it in i reckon fox didn't allow them because i don't recall that scene because in that one they make fun of it as well like um oh my god my, my left trigger is driving me nuts here Oh, they make fun of uh, reusing backgrounds and they're constantly walking past the same cleaning lady and all this. Yeah. What on earth am I meant to be doing here? I've, I've completely balls up. Am I meant to just get out or something? Ah, oh, Dan, there's that other one, like, where they meant, they oh, talk about, Christ. like, the ridiculousness of um, of, of an cartoons idiot. and stuff. Like, oh, it's, it's animation. You can just do whatever you want. Like, it's just okay. it's just silly because it's, um, no. And so, and then that's where they have Homer sitting on a couch watching TV and then they have yeah. Homer walk it through the background. Yeah. Past the <laughs> that was the next one I was going to bring up. And it's like, it's a cartoon. It doesn't have to make sense. He's like, do, 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 do. He yeah. walks by outside. <laughs> exactly. And that's them rubbing in the viewer's face. It's like, shush, it's a cartoon, okay? Stop overthinking it, you know? Exactly. And it's a, it's a comedy cartoon. Like, it's no, it's it's meant to be fun and nonsensical. It's not like an animation that's meant to be like, oh, it's, it's serious storyline, like anything else but just with a um animated um medium no no it's a comedy it's meant to be funny it's meant to be yeah. nonsensical it's not like, meant to make sense point. yeah exactly right oh actually they're up here whoops this appears to be a platforming section no that's it they go out of their way to sort of make that point and i think it's fair you know you shouldn't overthink it um it's like you know the whole where is springfield kind of thing and it's like constantly joked about and then in the film they like reveal where Springfield is and it's in a place that it couldn't exist. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Yeah. Um, and uh, I, and uh, yeah, there's many times that they do it. Like, we can go on, like, for instance, um, with Skinner, doing the whole episode of Skinner not being actual, actually being... Yeah, Harmon um, um, Tanzarian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, you and then and then bastard. and then having a, a callback later where it's like, aren't you? But like, what are you doing here, Lisa, Lisa, or something like that? And it's like, and she mentions his actual name. It's like, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's something about like, um, oh, I don't know, lying or being disingenuous or something. She's like, okay, um, and he's like, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Though uh, she's got to be careful, you know. Uh, you're not meant to. Uh, you're not meant to mention his name. It's penalty by catapult. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Should have seen that coming. Okay, we got two more in a couple of minutes. Can I get up this way, actually? Oh, yep. Do a steam jump. Oh. Where are we? We're missing. Oh, here he is, right here. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> like a fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh no alright cool uh, we've done that but no that's what I'm talking about this game is just all throwbacks and references it's uh that's why it's so so well liked and so well you know so well received because it's just it's just right you know what I mean oh exactly and it, it it's sort of Ooh. like finally I can oh. get some sleep mindless drones return to your ugly families oh <laughs> 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 uh, it's like, um, yeah, when you make these sort of games and that, Ooh. the idea, if you're making them from a movie or you're making them from uh, a, a TV show or something, people want them to be as lo as like loyal as possible, as and have the 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 throwbacks and have the you know the like tie-ins and stuff all from the actual. Um, original product and while you don't have to make it word for word type thing or um, no uh, yeah having it having those things in it is what people want and that so just like 
uh, yeah, you, you want to do that. You don't want to have go, this is a Simpsons game, and then have, like, nothing recalling anything else to the Simpsons other than, like, <laughs> just that they're yellow people, <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, and it sort of works both, works both ways, really. Like, you, if you have something that's based on games and you go into the media of movie and that you want to also reference and do the things that are from those games as well you don't just want to be like oh yeah no it's that the characters are named the same it's like yeah it's never going to work as well because the people that are going to watch or play these things are clearly the fans and they want to see what they like in in those mediums yeah exactly it's like everyone knows that you're going to have to change things to adapt it for screen and such because of course um but it's like as long as you are faithful enough in enough areas and you have those little things in there where it's like, hey, hey, you remember that from the game? You know, wink, nod, sort of thing. Um, people are really happy with it. Um, it's like at the moment, um, the Last of Us TV series. I don't know if uh, you've watched any of that. I'm not going to spoil any of it for anyone watching. No, no, I, no, I, haven't, I haven't watched it. No. Yeah, whereas, I mean, it's one of the most faithful adaptations I've seen. Like, is it perfectly um, faithful? No, because there are, there is constrictions with television and you know, the amount of episodes and that. So there is some differences and they've taken some liberties in some other areas. But there is also loads of little uh, wink nod sort of things um, mm. from the stories and stuff that uh, you get. And obviously plenty of stuff that is like word for word, obviously the big story beats. But outside of that, there's lots of uh, little little wink nod things. And it's good, you know, when you get that stuff. It's like, hey, I remember that. They didn't have to have that, but there it is. The famous bearded cartoon creator incarcerated in a Peruvian jail. In other news, local citizens <laughs> are outraged over the discovery of surveillance cameras throughout the town. We go now to City Hall, where Mayor Quimby is fielding questions from an angry mob. These miniature cameras are an outrage. Spying on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, where is the sexy footage? In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. Marge, that black van is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. <laughs> Marge is a fiend. Seriously, she's she's good to go at the drop of a hat so many times in the show. Seriously, she's <laughs> she's enjoying her thirties. It's the only way she could get the release from all the stress of life. <laughs> that's it. Investigate and follow the black van. Don't let it get away. Well, I mean, that's one thing, right? So. Obviously, Homer is a bit of a buffoon and everything like that. Um, and he... Oh, how do I change my car back, actually? Oh, trying to think here. Is Sorry, it, just just I quickly. Know, garage? <laughs> just quickly. Um, I wouldn't mind just being in the normal car rather than the Plow King, which is a little slow. Um, oh, I know what's saying. No, that just moves you around. Let's see, is it something in here? No. Oh, I don't know if the, Oh, actually, what about this extra Xbox button? Nope. Nope, no good. All right, I guess we're in the uh, we're in the Plow King, whatever. But um, there is one thing, and that is how she puts up with him. You know what I mean? How does she put up with him? Like, Homer is a horrible husband, honestly. Like, he is a horrible, horrible husband. Hell, he'd be a horrible boyfriend. He's so selfish. He never thinks of her. He like forgets everything, you know, in early Simpsons, they cover it in a little bit more of a somewhat delicate manner. Like he, he buys her a bowling ball, you know, for her birthday, um, because obviously he just wants her to go, oh, I don't want this. And then, oh, great. Now he's got a bowling ball for himself. You know what I mean? So it's like basically as, oh God, getting too close. Basically as selfish as you can be, you know, buying a gift for yourself, hoping they won't want mm. it. And uh, then you get to claim the gift for yourself. You never actually wanted to get a gift for them. And obviously the further beat of the um, episode is that she ends up learning to bowl with some guy that she nearly has an affair with, you know, because she's so tired of how he is. But honestly, I don't know how she puts up with him. And he is like such a terrible husband. Yeah, and it's even funny because like in the later, the later the seasons go, the more they start to reveal like that... Oh yeah, no. Before she married him, she had this promising future here, and oh, Marge also yeah, was exactly. skilled at this, and oh, she was also doing this. <laughs> no, that's it. It's, it's meant to be one of those like, um, oh god, this might be too close. It's meant to be one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, it's that classic. Uh, the housewife gave up her aspirations. You know what I mean? Um, you know, gave up her aspirations for the husband to do his slack about thing, and 
because she got pregnant, she's got to raise the kids and blah, blah, blah sort of deal. Um, and it's very much the case with Marge. You know, she's very artistic. Yeah. Um, you know, she went to university and stuff as it sort of gets included in later. And, um, you know, Homer often uh, got in the way of those things or, you know, wrecked them. I mean, obviously, being a cartoon, there's a lot of contradictions they do because they just keep. Of course, stuff. yeah, they retcon a lot too. They do. They do also have like a lot of like things where um, they say like before the third child came along, like they were a lot more happier and like Homer was far more attentive and stuff like that because he wasn't always burnt out and he was doing a job. He 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 got a job at the bowling alley or something. And he he was enjoying that and so. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and it was it was only after he had to do this job at the nuclear power plant that oh he starts drinking more and he starts all this sort of stuff. And he's, yeah. So you know, but that uh, obviously with the flip side of the end of that episode meant to be like he keeps Maggie's photos up there to say that you know yeah. this is why he's doing it. Yeah. Do it. Do it for her. It says. But also a nod. Also a nod to like yeah. This is also this. He hates this job so much. This is also why he's partly a terrible person <laughs> because. Well, he, I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things like reason why he's you know a bit lazy just wants to lie about and all that sort of stuff yeah he works a job he hates and everything like that you get that but he is also a bit of a jerk by nature and especially in the later yeah. seasons you know jerk ass homer is how he gets referred to because he ends up just becoming a real jerk like 100 percent jerk and he and he stops sort of learning lessons oh mr burns is Ooh. behind all this evil spying is so like him that wrinkled old monkey skeleton it's very true. That is like mm -hmm. him. But yeah, he stops learning his lessons a bit. Um, and he just turns into like a real jerk. But, um, you know, that episode, though, um, was obviously from the Golden Years. And uh, it's one of the best episodes and it's very sweet, you know. And um, obviously it's one of those things where it's like, you know, this isn't just a cartoon for kids. Here's a little something for the adults. Because, I mean, how many people out there are working a job they don't like for a boss they hate? and just sucking it up because they need to provide for their family. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and that's it. That's how the, how the whole thing ends. The plaque that says, don't forget, you're here forever. And it turns into, you know, do it for her. And he covers it over with her pictures. Um, and it is why he does have pictures of Maggie. They're just not at home. You know, and it's very sweet. You know, it does show there is a sort of sweeter side to him in that regard. Like, he does love his family, but I just don't think it makes up for how much shit he does. Like, he does terrible things to Marge, and then basically, in the end, he just goes, I love you, and she goes, I'll hurt me, and it's all over. It's like, what? Yeah. No, it, and it is very much the case of the writers needing there to be drama and needing there to be story and, and of course. To follow one. Because, like, if he's this perfect guy that, you know, doesn't do anything, then it... Yes, you can still make stories, but at nah, the end of the day, the, nah, the show probably weird. wouldn't be continuing as long as it has been. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, it's like if you see the original Tracy Ullman shorts. Um, oh, it's Bone Storm. She wants us. Marge is such a Karen. She wants us to get Bone Storm off the tree, off the streets. But um, you know, if you ever see the oh, it, oh, we're Marge, are we? Yeah. Yeah. If you ever see the um, Tracy Ullman shorts. Oh, there we go. It is definitely a little bit more like um, family, you know, family ties, sort of life lessons kind of thing. But Homer's not a bad guy. And oh, did I miss the item drop? I did. And, uh, you know, he's kind of like a, seems like a decent father and all that sort of stuff. But the show, and part of the reason it's controversial, was they were such a dysfunctional family. And you didn't usually see so much dysfunction on TV. Usually at the time, everything was sort of like, yeah, happy go lucky family, little family disagreements and stuff and problems but then they're resolved at the end of the episode and everyone hugs and it's great whereas the simpsons some episodes are like ends and it's like wait nobody learned anything and nothing was fixed and it's like well that's just how it goes sometimes sometimes people don't learn from their mistakes and you know everything's not fixed with a big happy hug and a and a you know an ice cream sundae at the end of the episode you know like no and uh in, in a in a slight off shoot like Family Guy actually have an episode where they really point that out, like in in that vein of how The Simpsons do it and Family Guy do it and a few others. In that there's a, there's an episode uh, where like all this crap happens in in Family Guy, and at the end of it, Stewie and Chris are walking off into the distance, and and they're like, oh, what about all this stuff that hasn't been resolved? He goes, ah, we'll probably just cut to black. Really? I don't think it's gonna work. And then just cuts to black. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I think you've just broken a law by bringing out Family Guy while we play The Simpsons. Um, they have a crossover. It's relevant. Nah. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> yep. no, it's it's official. It, they Fam- they Fam- have a crossover. Family Guy is like the Wish.com version of The Simpsons. Um, you know, yes, yeah, and fine. Anyway, we've just lost a bunch of viewers. Oh, I don't care. Oh, all right, go off. Yeah, obviously, you don't enjoy good content, so yeah, you shouldn't be here. So, off you uh, go. That's it. <laughs> I mean, everyone's allowed their opinion. And, and all jokes aside, obviously, The Simpsons goes down in quality quite a bit um, eventually. But, uh, yeah, I just never liked Family Guy. I thought it tried too hard and I hate their reference humour. What do you mean? Remember when? Remember the time? Remember how? And then it cuts to some some basic... It's like a cartoon skit show. They stop, they stop that eventually, but never a fan. I think it was... Probably the height for me with the it. Phone booth. The height for me for that that comedy was when they actually when Stewie gets hurt and he goes <laughs> and then it swaps to a, a scene like like they're gonna do a scene and he's just standing there going. Now nah, I got nothing. I I I no idea what I said. <laughs> this, this like w- w- um, female runner, um, Olympic runner runs past and goes, oh, there's so and so. Well, she was part, apparently part of it. Okay. Yeah, no, obviously they they, learn, they do take the mick out of themselves. I will give them that. And it's not like Family Guy isn't funny at all. Like, I did watch it for a while. Um, I didn't mind it. But, yeah, I think there was one particular episode where it was like they basically just sat in their lounge room saying, that's like the time, and then it did a skit, and then it came out, and it's like, oh, you think that's bad? That reminds me. And they did that for a whole episode, and I was like, all right, I'm done with this show, <laughs> and I never watched it again. I was like, that almost feels like they were taking the, that, that was another foot point where they were almost taking the piss out of themselves. Yeah, um, nah, maybe, but it was just... They are the type of show that I feel like that they got comments of people going, I don't like this type of comedy, and they're going, okay. Well, we're going to ramp <laughs> it up to episode. 10. Screw you. <laughs> no, totally, totally, I get that, but um, too much for me personally. But hey, no, if you love Family Guy, good, like, you know, 100%. It's not some us or them. You can like The Simpsons. You can like Family Guy. You can like Futurama. You can like King of the Hill. You can like the Cleveland show. I don't know. I've never actually watched it. But um, but that's enough uh, Family Guy. We're playing The Simpsons here, the superior cartoon and game. Um, just had to get one more little jab in there, you know. <laughs> oh, talk to Carl. Hey, Homer. You look like you're having one of your trademark adventures. Danger. Mr. Burns. Mini cameras, black vans. Well, good thing I'm drunk. Stupid drunk. <laughs> oh no, he's going to Warren Burns. I can't believe I'm racing the same guy twice in one day. Oh, Smithers, I didn't know. The Fat and the Furious. Wait, the same day? I thought, like, if work finished. Oh my god, Smithers! Oh just my got god, one. he, he just, just take it out. He just got one back this on me. <laughs> and this is why the game is called Hit and Run. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> that was 100% a hit and run. Hey, but you know what? I mean, uh, I basically incinerated this man like an hour ago. I think I think he's allowed. And his car. Yes. But, you know, I mean, so, obviously yeah. he took it pretty well because Smithers is flaming. Anyway. I'm not going to dignify that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I didn't get it for ages. And then I grew up a bit older. I'm like, oh, he's gay. <laughs> like, I just, it flew over my head when I was like, you know, five sort of yeah. thing. Younger, so I think I'm just trying I, to beat Smithers here to somewhere. I don't think I'm actually trying to destroy him this time. So, all all the gay jokes about like they, they make about Smithers being gay and, and stuff never really bothered me. The only one that ever bothered me was when he ha- he's playing with all these um uh, dolls that are, he dresses up as like yeah he loves Malibu Stacy uh, and he dresses up like schoolgirls and that. I'm just like okay, that just seems a bit weird. <laughs> it's like okay, he's the biggest. Mal- he has the biggest Malibu Stacy collection in the world. Um, yeah. I mean, like the whole doll thing is he just likes Malibu Stacy. I don't yeah. think it's meant to have any sort of over overtones to it. The episode goes better. Like the episode gets better, and and, and it definitely goes on. But like that initial scene, it, it, it was just like oh okay. Oh, and so it's like I'm glad they didn't end it here. <laughs> no. I mean, the thing about Smithers is like they never really, they're never really making fun of it. They're just making fun of how closeted he is. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're never making fun of the fact that he's gay. Though that um, that episode does bring up the, a fact that I feel is sort of overlooked a lot oh, of times in the, in the show. Is that like Barton and Lisa just uh, do whatever they want? Like, the yeah, <laughs> it's like, I oh, like the adult supervision for these two children. Oh no, it's, it's like it's, not almost oh, non-existent. I mean, but then again, you know, as a kid who grew up in the nineties, it was a little bit more like that. You know what I mean? I used to just go out on my bike and, with my mates and ride around, and the 
the deal was, you know, yeah, come home before dinner, like. But at the, at the same time, it's like, don't go with those people like outside of town, yeah. on, like catching planes, and <laughs> they do all this crazy shit. That's way over the top. Yeah, they. But I, you know, oh, it fits with the show. <laughs> exactly, they do crazy things, but that's it. It's it's got to work with the show, and it does. I beat him. Oh, I just ran over birds. Ah, oh, Mr. Burns is one of my favourite side characters. Hey, Montgomery Burns, I know you're guilty. Accused, sir. Fine, I admit it. I had Amelia Earhart's plane shot down. That hussy was getting too big for her jodhpurs. <laughs> That's a quote from the actual show, isn't it? Black vans and I can't recall, honestly. Black vans? Hmm. Aren't they connected with some sort of pizziola concern? What? They were only pizza vans. I'm a class five idiot. Smithers, release the hounds. And if this oaf is an employee of the plant, fire him at once. Everyone oh. sucks but me. Everyone sucks but me. Level complete. Seven to seven story missions. No bonus missions. I didn't actually, I didn't re recall that this was broken into levels. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised. We weren't going to fuff, fuff about too much trying to do all these side things. Um, I'd accept it. We will save our game. Save it to the hard disk. But yeah, obviously we weren't going to mess around too much with the side stuff. We thought we'd just get through. Um, low level employee harassed millionaire. Hounds released. Bone Storm 2 out today. Record truancy rates expected. That is so true. Ah, and now we would be playing as Bart. But I think that's a pretty good place to leave it for this episode. But. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> no, but hopefully... People who did enjoy it, um, enjoyed our obvious vast knowledge of The Simpsons we are to bring forward. And hopefully you weren't too big of a fan of Family Guy that you've clicked off the video already. Um, <laughs> but hey, Aaron liked well, it. So, you know, that's like uh, maybe downvote the video and then and then like it and then just leave it at that. All right? And uh, that's kind of even at that point, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, really, at, the, at this point, click anything. Comment. Yeah, do whatever. whatever you want. Interactions is what we want. Try and make us cry, I dare you. <laughs> Interactions are good for the algorithm and the nasty comments count. <laughs> but no, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy this game. I could definitely see us uh, continuing to play it if people want. If you want to see more, chuck a like on the video. Obviously, the more likes you get, the more uh, likely we are to continue playing or know that people want to see it. Or even chuck a comment below um, and say that if you want to see us continue this because it's maybe a one-off or it could be a series if people are happy to see it. Yeah, so with that, it's to be continued. I'm Aaron, that was Ricky. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you in the next episode.